It's time for nine at nine. All right, number nine, we sometimes call the Botanic Backyard segment B squared. So what do you call Look it? Look at they're cheering for B yeah, squared. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. What do you call when you get some bonus botanic knowledge on a Friday? Be cute, baby. And Paul, mm. I don't want to step on your toes, That's but all right. this is just some mad knowledge that I had to share. Okay. The New York Times asked the question, what's the easiest house plant? Paul probably knows, so let's pass along the answer. Bromeliads. Oh, the bromeliads, yeah. As the article notes, they have an easy disposition mm. that allows them to flourish in low light. And you don't have to water them all that much. There are thousands of, of these uh, different bromeliads. Yeah, the are. pineapple is one. Sure. The plant began in the subtropics, but you can buy them online now. For beginners out there, you probably don't want a prickly one to start. No. Pick mm -hmm. the ones with flowers. They can spend time outdoors in the summer, and they'll store water for a long time indoors in water. Wow. Uh, just when you're thinking, We've already maxed the show yeah. out with as much yeah. great information. Boom. Yeah. One more story like that. Yeah. Yeah. Channel 7, they might as well not even show up yeah. to work. You can't All the other teams, really what do they compete. waste your time? Yeah. <laughs> Romeo. All right, number eight. Age gap relationships are going to be big in the new year. This is according to the folks at Bumble. The dating app just released its 2024 dating forecast. When it comes to dating someone younger than you, the old rule used to be half your age plus seven years. All right, half your age. But that's outdated. All right. Oh. as well do the math anyway. There's been a steady increase in people dating outside of their targeted age group. So they're more open and more comfortable to dating people both older and younger than they are. More than 60% of those surveyed say when it comes to dating the right person, age is not a factor. Well, that's great Isn't news. Isn't that nice? For men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. never know, Larry. You never know. Yeah. Right? It's just, it's, you know. Yeah. So it goes both ways. Yeah, yeah. sometimes. Yeah. yeah, when you when you connect, when your heart is full, <laughs> yeah. you never know where yeah. that's going to come from. Oh, it's yeah. full of it, all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, uh, number seven, the Washington Post had an article about the two-hour rule that basically says that perishable food shouldn't be left at room temperature for more than two hours. This terrified me. Did this you see is, this story? It's BS. I, perishable I, food means stuff that you keep in the fridge, like meat. Dairy, cut veggies, cook dishes. The rule's been around for a long time and endorsed by all kinds of safety organizations, alleged safety organizations. They say it's going to prevent illness from bacteria. A lot of times when people think they have a stomach bug, they really have a foodborne illness from something they might have eaten days ago. But according to the comment section, not everyone agrees and people are fired up. Like, I'm fired up on this. But here are some of the responses in the comments. To say that potato salad will be dangerous after two hours <laughs> is ridiculous. Yeah. Again, these are from non-scientists, yeah. correct? Yeah. 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 yeah, who believes in scientists yeah. anymore? Here's another one. I know that I'm going to get cream for saying this, but mayo is not nearly as oh. sensitive uh. as people claim. I lived on a boat with no refrigeration or AC oh. for five months. We continued <laughs> to use the mayonnaise throughout. Oh. Uh, once a bottle was open, we used it until it was used up and never refrigerated it. Oh. A friend insists that no harm comes from preparing and serving food on the same countertop which he feeds his two cats. Oh. He says it's never gotten him sick that he knows of, so the practice must help build yeah. a stronger constitution, which I, I'm kind of in that category. Yeah. I mean, food safety is not mm. that important. If you want to get advice from your friend who's got the cat... Yeah, I'm right. sure he knows better. Yeah. But there is something to be said for everyone always knew that one person in the neighborhood, it seemed like... You know, they were swimming in the river. They yeah. were never showering, and, and they, they never got sick. Yeah. Never got sick, so yeah. the germs are just bouncing off. We have off swung of them. so far this way, though. We're like, you, yeah. people don't eat anything anymore. If it's well, I don't know. I don't want to eat crazy. stuff that's left out for crazy a while. moms is what I'm really saying. <laughs> <out there. laughs> I'm gonna email your wife. Let's edit, that, your wife. let's edit that out when we broadcast <laughs> this, because we don't need any more eats around here. Ton of crazy moms, not all of them, but the 99 percent. Just your wife. My well, all right, let's start there. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, more cities are considering bans on drivers making right turns on red lights. Officials in San Francisco voted to urge transportation officials to ban right oh, on red across the city. Other major cities like Los Angeles, Seattle, and Denver have also looked into bans. Some officials say drivers should not have the option to decide for themselves when uh -huh. they think it's safe because these days, 
They are more distracted than ever before. Are these really what the big cities need to be worrying about yeah, right now? Yeah, it's the least of their problems. <laughs> wow. Especially yeah. in San Francisco. More laws. All right, number five. This is a pretty smart invention. This is called Nake Fit. Is that correct? Yeah. Is it missing a letter there? No, no, you got it. They're adhesive soles for your bare feet. No. They're for when you want to go barefoot, but you don't want to get hurt by stepping on pebbles or hot oh, pavement nice. or stuff oh. like that. You can wear them at the beach in your house when you go see your probation oh. officer, whatever. <laughs> Whenever you want to be barefoot, they're also waterproof. You can wear them swimming. $18 for three pairs, and one guy says he got four uses out of each pair. You j that's a lot of bare feet. I, I just, are you bare, are barefoot that often that you need to have? Well, every so often you go to the beach and you may want to mix it up a little yeah. bit, right? Walking through the parking lot. Yeah. Hey, this is good news for you. You don't have to look at people's bare feet now. Yeah. No, you do. This is just on the bottom of the I foot. I know. Oh, that, oh, that that's like, yeah, you're still looking at it. You're looking at 90% of oh, the foot okay, still. Oh, okay, so that still counts for you. It's okay. just sticking on the oh, sole of the feet. Oh, it's not just the bottom. It's the whole foot that bothers you. Of course. What, you yeah. just think it's just the bottom of your foot? No, it's the whole foot. Yeah. It's, you're seeing the whole thing. you don't thing. see a portion of it, you're not a wow. little happier. The sole might be the least. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? It's just the whole foot in general. I thought it that. was the opposite for you. Yeah. Toes included or just the foot? I don't even like the word toes. So just oh. don't. Let's just oh, move boy. on. Add that to the list. <laughs> Panties, boys, Sorry. lover, and uh, you know toes. You what's sad uh, is that we've been working together so long that you you came up with I the got, list in two seconds and yeah, it's correct. Yeah, I got it right. <laughs> Panties, boys, uh, toes, and lover. <laughs> that sounds like is a that, song. Yeah. <laughs> Mick and Al, yeah. get on that. Yeah. <laughs> Your 65th birthday, we'll get that out there for you. All right, uh, number four, everyone likes passion, but if you and your partner go from extreme highs to extreme lows, you're probably in what's called a karmic relationship. As exciting as it all seems, a lot of that turbulence is not healthy. But some people crave the excitement, and they get addicted to the makeup portion of the relationship, and here are some signs. Uh, do you have a lot of ups and downs? Are you able to communicate without things escalating? Uh, do you uh, make up with physical connection instead of communication? If so, <laughs> you might want to think about running as fast as you can. Right. It's like I had one of those, uh, and it was exciting. Yeah. But I was 20. Yeah. Uh -huh. You don't marry that, guys oh, or woman. Oh, yeah. yeah. snap. Right? I well, say, you, you date Some crazy, like you that. don't marry it. Sometimes you want a little passion and a good fight. Oh, man. You know, we have Paul Mercurio, who's got the one-man show coming yeah. up, and he has a great quote, one of his jokes I was reading in the tip sheet. Uh, we're talking about relations. It said, people ask, what's more important, sex or communication? He says, sex, because no one fantasizes about communication. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Number three, a company called Human Material Loop is trying to change the fashion industry by turning human hair into textiles. Oh. So far, the Dutch startup oh. has made uh, prototypes of human hair coats, sweaters, and blazers. Is wow. this it? They're just prototypes, so don't oh. expect human hair jackets to be in stores anytime soon. The goal is to one course. day uh, sell their fabrics to designers as alternative materials. You know, why haven't we been yeah, recycling you think human about it. hair? Yeah, you could really do well, a lot. Well, with your case, I know why we haven't yeah. been doing it, but yeah. in yeah. general, as a general statement, right. all you these salons, it. they could be making a whole side hustle. Yeah. yeah. I've long been pushing the idea of hair pillows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every barber in town, you know, yeah. you, at the end of the day, you make a nice pillow. You yeah. said Christmas is right around the corner. All these, <laughs> all these ideas. Don't get me anything this all year. Right. All right, number two. People in Okinawa, Japan, are the longest living people in the world. And one of the reasons they have so many people who make it to 100 might be their booze. They drink something called awamori. It's basically rice wine, and some researchers mm. think that the way they drink it contributes to their health. How do they awamori drink Awamori is enjoyed almost daily, and it's always with a group of friends. Uh. Researchers think those connections to loved ones help keep down the rates of cancer, heart disease, and dementia. And also, they think uh, they drink it in tiny cups the size of thimbles, so uh. when someone wants to refill or do a toast, they literally have to get uh. closer to their friends. I see. Yeah. Well, never yeah. know. Yeah. All right, number one, this is absolutely the craziest police chase video that you will ever oh. see. 
It looks like it's from a movie or a video game, but it is from real. It's from Sao Paulo, Brazil. The guy uh, getting chased has a girl on the back of his motorcycle, and this goes on for six minutes, so we had to edit down a little bit. So the person that we're looking at on the motorcycle, there's someone. That's the coppers chasing the oh, there's a girl on the girl back of the yeah. oh yeah. motorcycle. <gasps> oh, my oh. Gosh. Yeah, I've seen this. This is. Why are they being chased? Uh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. Maybe for stupidity. Oh. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. This is this is where you rethink your choice of boyfriend here. Uh, yeah. 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 Oh boy. <gasps> Listen, you got his license plate. Why don't you just oh, call it a day geez. and then show up at his house later? You know it'd be at his parents' oh. house. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the speed bump. I'm hoping she doesn't fall off here. Did we say how it ended? Oh yeah, you'll see. Oh. It goes down for six minutes. Yeah, we cut, oh, we cut it down. Oh, okay. yeah. uh -oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Just wait for it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no. I'm afraid. <gasps> oh, Whoa. my gosh. Oh, no. Now my wife, when I'm driving Whoa. normally, my wife is yelling at me like I'm out of my mind. Can you imagine her on the back yeah. of this thing? Clearly a girlfriend, not a wife. Wow. This oh, is the car motorcycle. They get a lot of miles to the gallon. This thing yeah. could go on a long yeah. time. Oh. oh, my Lord. All right, we're getting here. Are we okay. getting again? Yeah, we're, we're coming there. up on it here. Oh, here oh we my go. gosh. Ooh, what this. is going on? This is better than a Jason Bourne movie, Chase. Yeah, watch. Oh. Whoop. Oh. Are these stairs? Yeah. Oh. oh. Yeah. Bummer. Quitter. <laughs> <laughs> How about that for a ride? Oh wow. Boy, he, he doesn't even run? Yeah, you figure at this, this point. He doesn't even see. Oh, it was oh, a misunderstanding. Yeah. He's trying to oh, argue his way I out of this. I didn't know you were behind me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right. That's the night I gave him the keys. Woof. Yeah. That's the night at nine. Night at nine. Good, good night at nine there. Yeah.